Hello, this is Pat Walker at MissionWinners.com, and I'm doing a video here for Ramesh. Had a question about short interest, and I'd like to show you something about short interest and how it can be used. On MarketSmith, the short interest is right here. A lot of people say, well, what is short interest? Basically, people buy stocks, people sell stocks, and there are individuals or entities that short stocks. They don't own it, they short it, they sell it, anticipating that it's going to drop in price and they can buy it back at a lower price. They are selling short. The number, let's suppose, I'm gonna be real specific. Let's suppose a stock did a million shares a day and over the course of whatever period of time, a million shares have been sold short. In other words, a million shares have been sold short in anticipation that it's going to drop in price and the people that sold short will buy it back. And that's nice. Here's the one stipulation. It's a great tool to look at. I do not put a tremendous amount of weight in it. But there is one thing to consider, and I want to share this with you. And I'm just going to do Abercrombie & Fitch. It has 4.8 days of short ends. Do you see it right there? What does that mean? It's got, if you take the volume, all right, average daily volume, I'm going to show you this real quick. Average daily volume of 2.8 million shares a day. If you take that times 4.8, that told you, tells you the total number of shares that are outstanding. But the other way to look at it is, to cover, it's going to take 4.8 days of volume. If those shorts decide to buy and cover their short, that's buying. That will put it up in price. At the same time, if people are buying the stock, you have that pushing it up in price. So you can get, if there's heavy short interest, you can get to a degree a short squeeze where the shorts capitulate and say, I need to cover here because uh, I'm going to get caught on this. This this is a problem situation. So it's something that could be used. Years ago, it was far more prevalent that you would get short squeezes. Markets have become so efficient nowadays, I just don't see it that much. So as far as using it, I just don't see it. I don't see it that much. I will look at it and I'll... I'll Think about it, but I don't go deep into it. So like here's the Abercrombie, I'll just scroll down some of these stocks. 4.8 days, 2.8 days, that's no big deal. 3.1 days, 6.3 days, that's a little bit heavier. See, that one's a little bit heavier. Those shorts, if this thing starts to run and it did a little bit here, those shorts who have shorted this stock, they'll cover because they don't want to take a huge loss, which can be good buying for us. So that's how that works. Here, let's go back to short interest. 3.8 days, 4.1, 7 points. Oh, now there's 7.6 days. That's getting a little bit higher, okay? Perhaps those shorts, if it starts to lift through 25 and a quarter, those shorts will cover. There's another side to the coin, though, I've got to share with you. You always have to be aware. Some of those short sellers may have done homework and they know something that the average investor doesn't. And... That's why they put those shorts on. So you have to be careful with that. I am i would never be cavalier with a large short interest and just say, oh, those shorts are going to cover and that baby's going to run in price. Not necessarily. Maybe some sophisticated short sellers know something. So take it into consideration. Overall, do I, is it on a scale of one to 10, with one being not very important, and 10 being extremely important, how would I rank short interest? I'll give short interest a two, a two on a scale of one to 10. It's relevant, but it's not a game changer for me. So I hope that helps you. I'm glad you asked Ramesh. And again, I hope that answers your question. I'm not hung up on it. And I don't know many people that are to tell you the truth. So there you go, and I sure hope that helps, and I thank you.